Okay, welcome back you beautiful people. Hope you're having a great day and thanks very much for joining me. Now today we're looking at the Fender USA Ultra Stratocaster which costs £2,100 and we're going to compare it to the Squire Classic Vibe 70 Stratocaster which cost me just £249 from Amazon last week. That's a real deal. But we're going to see if this is really worth eight times the cost of this Squire, both made by Fender. Today we're going to find out. So we're going to do a blind tone comparison test and see if you can hear the difference or hear which one is which. And then I'll reveal the results at the end of the video. Let's get into this. Okay, so as I said in the intro there, we're going to be looking at the differences between these two today. We've got the Fender USA Ultra and we've got the Squire Classic Vibe 70s. Both Stratocasters, both made by Fender. Squire is Fender in case you didn't know, but I'm sure everybody knows that. Okay, so we're going to look at the differences in build quality between the two, specifications, weight, because that's a big thing to a lot of people, but also most importantly, we're going to do a blind tone comparison test. Can you hear the difference? Can you pick out the one that you think is the most expensive versus the cheap? Is this really going to sound eight times as good as this? We're going to find out and I'm going to let you decide whether you think you can tell the difference. Okay, so we're going to do that later on in the video and we're going to have results at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to find out which one was which when we do that blind tone comparison test. Blind tone comparison test. Blind tone comparison. I'll put the teeth back in now. All right, that's a bit of a tongue twister that one. Okay, so let's get into the weight. We'll weigh these first and then we'll start getting into the specs and looking at the differences and then we'll do that blind tone comparison test. Let's do it. Okay, so first up, we're gonna weigh the Squire and see how light or heavy this may be. Okay, so on the scales, that's 3.65 kilograms, which is just eight pounds. So that's exactly eight pounds, this one. Okay, so the Squire Classic Vibe is eight pounds, 3.65 kilograms. Okay, so now we're gonna weigh the Fender USA Ultra Stratocaster, see how light or heavy this may be. So that's 3.75 kilograms which is 8.2 pounds. So 8.2 pounds for the Ultra USA and eight pounds for the Squire Classic Vibe. So this is actually heavier, the USA is slightly heavier, only a little bit, but it all adds up. Let's get into the specs. Okay, just a quick one. If you're enjoying this video or finding it helpful or interesting, please like and subscribe, and it really helps help the channel and the video. Gets it out to all these other guitar geeks like us. Let's get back to it. Okay, so that was the weights, and obviously that's quite a good surprise that this is nice and light and pretty much equal to the, the Fender Ultra USA. Okay, so let's talk about build quality. Now the Fender Ultra USA, absolutely impeccable. It's 10 out of 10. There's just nothing I can fault on this thing. It's just perfect from, from, the, set, from the factory setup, okay? There's nothing, the fret edges are perfect, and the neck is perfect, the nut is per, cut perfectly, the, the frets feel amazing. Um, Action is imme impeccable, intonation, everything, just spot on from day one. Okay, the Squire, this is where they normally save a lot of money, is uh, companies will save a lot of money on the man hours and, and the time it takes to set up a neck and to make them perfect, because it's very labor intensive. Now I've got to say, for 250 quid, this is bonkers how good this is, because this is there's no sharp fret edges at all. It's not rolled, but it's not sharp. Um, the, the nut has been cut really well, the bone nut. Okay, they've both got bone nuts on these and, and the bone nut on this cut just as well as this one on, on the Ultra. Okay, the fret ed like I say, the fret edges are amazing. The neck is just straight and perfect. As the action is good. The, the truss rod adjustment seems perfect. It just seems really good. I'd give this a good solid eight out of 10. Um, this is obviously 10 out of 10. This is a good solid eight out of 10, which normally I don't expect to see on something sort of six to a thousand, 600 to a thousand pounds. You know, so this is just crazy how well set up this is for the money involved. For the price point so this is great value for anyone that's getting into guitar or wants a second guitar or a gigging sort of workhorse this is just amazing you know for the money just crazy so yeah good build quality on this not bad at all for especially for the money when you would take the price into account awesome okay let's get into the next part okay so we're now going to look at the spec differences between the two Okay, the Ultra USA has 22 frets, which is a modern thing. The Classic Vibe 70s has 21 frets. Now you'll find that things like the Fender Player Series also has 22 frets and the American Pro 2 Fenders as well. They also have 22 frets. So if you need the extra fret, you need to be going for a Fender of some sort. Um, but a lot of the Squires still have 21 frets. Okay, now the differences between them. So the necks are quite different actually on these two. They both look like they're rosewood, but actually the Squire is Indian Laurel fretboard and it's a 9.5 inch constant radius with a C-shaped back of the neck. Okay, whereas this Ultra is actually a 10 to 14 inch compound radius 
um, with a, a, a modern D shaped neck. So as you can see, the Squire 70s has actually got a much bigger headstock. That's because in the 70s, Fender was bought out by CVS and they decided to put a bigger headstock on there for advertising purposes. So it get more on the TV and stuff, it get more sort of FaceTime with people. Okay, so people could see what brand it was a little bit easier. Um, and on the, on the Ultra, we've got the original size headstock, which I actually prefer the smaller one. Now both has lock and, uh, no, what, sorry, no, they don't both have lock and tuners. The Ultra has lock and tuners. The Squire Classic Vibe doesn't. It has vintage tuners, um, but they, they work well. You know, they work well. Okay, next up, we have a bone nut. A bone nut on both, okay, which is surprising because a Squire at 249 pounds with a bone nut, that's normally a premium option on a lot of guitars, a premium feature. You wouldn't see that on a cheap guitar normally. So it's quite impressive that it's on a 249 pounds guitar. Let's talk about the bodies actually. The bodies, there's a big difference in the bodies actually. So on the back, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of contour cuts. On the Ultra, we have a lot of contours, extra contour, especially around the neck joint, around the heel of the neck joint give it a lot more sort of comfort for playing. Whereas on, on the, uh, the Squire, it's just very classic. You've just got the, the belly cut and that's it. Okay, so that's one of, the, one of the sort of modern features that they put on the Ultras nowadays. Okay, but also on the body, we've got older wood versus poplar wood. Okay, so very different in wood, completely different. Um, we've got three single coils on both, but on the Ultra, they're the noiseless fours and on here, they're the Fender Design Squire Classic Vibe model based on our Nico 5 pickups. That's all I know about them. But they sound great, you know, so but you'll see that in the blind tone comparison test in a minute, won't you? Okay, so and then we have the two point tremolo, the modern two point ultra tremolo on here, and the six point tremolo that you tend to see on a lot of squires on this one, on the squire. Okay, so I think it's time we had this blind tone comparison test. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to do the blind tone comparison test now, and we're going to use exactly the same settings on each guitar. Okay, same same pickup, same knob positions, same exact amp settings, and same recording process, and I'm going to tune both of them before every single example. All you're going to see on screen is A or B. A will always be the same instrument, B will always be the same instrument. And I want you to decide whether you can tell which one is, firstly, the expensive one, and then secondly, which one you prefer because the most expensive one isn't necessarily the one you might actually prefer. So I want you to let me know in the comments which one you choose and which one you prefer the sound of and which one, if you got it right when you thought, which one you thought was the Ultra, okay? So let me know in the comments what you decide, what you think, and whether you got it right or not, and also which one you prefer, okay? So let's get into this.
Okay, so there you have it. There's the tone comparison test. Which one did you think was the Ultra and which one did you think was the Squire? Let me know in the comments section down below whether you get it right or not. I'm about to reveal which one is which. Okay, but to me, it sounded amazing how I actually preferred this in some instances, especially the cleans. I actually preferred the Squire in some of the cleans and I preferred the Ultra with the, a bit of distortion, a little bit of gain. Okay, so what did you think? Let me know down below. Okay, now it's time for the big reveal because this is going to shock you, I think. It might surprise a lot of people. Okay, so the Squire, the Squire, Squire was Guitar B. Okay, so the Squire was Guitar B. And I think that's shocking because I think that was so good in so many circumstances in those comparison tests. Um, this is great, don't get me wrong, but this is for 249 quid, bonkers value. Absolutely crazy. So Squire Classic Vibe 70s, 249 quid, you can't go wrong. What a value this is for 249 quid. You know, brand new from Amazon. That was just mental money. Okay, so yeah, B was the Squire. Did you get it right? Let me know. Please like and subscribe to this video. It really helps my channel and get the word out there about the guitar videos that I do. And hopefully if you enjoy this, then that'll let other guitar geeks like us enjoy it as well. Okay, this was Guitar B, this was Guitar A. So the Ultra was A, the Squire was B. Okay, so hopefully you found this interesting. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.